finally taking down this nasty light. Maybe prematurely, but we need some dopamine. Yeah. It's so dirty. Disgusting. I thrifted this little light for $12. Look how ugly it is. But I really liked the base to it. It's a nice brass color. But I shopped around for some new globes in the same thrift store and I was successful. Down to mine, the unfinished ceiling. We know it needs work. Oh, that's bright. That last light wasn't fun to put up, so we're putting up another one, if that makes any sense. Nope. The dining room light. Putting up this guy. I thrifted him. Uh, how long ago was that? Like six years ago? Yeah. At a garage sale for $25. Wait till you see it. Ready? Look how beautiful. I'm just kidding. Oh, brilliant. Doesn't that just add so much drama? I love it. Jared's putting the last coat of stain in the last room that we need. We stained the whole house first and then we left this one unstained because this is kind of where we stored everything. Now that the rest of the floors are done staining this room. Not sure if we told you guys about the fridge we got. Got a fridge off Facebook Marketplace. So secondhand, it's got a few dents in it um, and it needs cleaned up. Obviously it's dirty, but uh, yeah, like that. It's a bit smaller than standard, which is what we wanted. We'll have more countertop space now. Got a stove or an oven, I guess. Looky there, she's beautiful. Bought this one new. It's kind of hard to find gas stainless steel ranges secondhand. People snatch those up pretty quick. We've also started to bring back some furniture. Uh, got our dining table from our very first house. I'm gonna refinish it. Showed you the chandelier already. More furniture. Picked this stuff up from my brother's house. They've been storing those along with a few totes. So it kind of feels like we're moving in a little bit. Uh, we still have two very unfinished bathrooms. Those need done still. The last piece just came today. We needed the valve for the upstairs shower. And it's beautiful. Like that. It's gonna be so fancy. Um, so Jared, he'll be able to install this maybe today or tomorrow. And then we can finally get the rough end inspection done, which we've been talking about for ages. It's hard when you're working on an entire house at the same time. We're not focusing on like on one room, we're tackling the entire house. So it feels like things have been going slowly, but once the rough end's done, then we'll be able to put in the toilet and the shower, and then we can move in. Like we could live here, which is really exciting. So we walked in this morning and the house had a bit of a smell, um, which was discouraging because we really thought we got it when we stained and sealed the floors. Now that the odor of the polyurethane has kind of faded, the smell's coming back a little bit. It still smells way better than before we stained and sealed the floors, but it's definitely still there. So I had bought this enzyme cleaner from Amazon, it's concentrated, so I just mix it with water and sprayed it underneath all the baseboards because we weren't able to get underneath the baseboard very well. And you can see like there's pretty big gaps where just a bunch of crud could hide. We'll eventually replace all the cord around, but I just thought it was worth a shot to spray some enzyme underneath there, see if maybe that'll do the trick. In the meantime, I'm really glad in my chest that we brought back the other day that I had packed up some of our essential oil diffusers. So I've got a few of those going. I've got this one going. This one's so pretty, isn't it pretty? And then another one back in there, just to kind of help mask the smell while that enzyme kicks in. And then I'm just really hoping that the smell goes away. Oh, we're tired of smelling a stinky house. Jared's upstairs. Hi. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm not here. Installing the valve for the shower. You're so smart. Smart? Yeah. 
Why is this smart? I don't know. I couldn't do that. Hmm. Yeah, you could. <laughs> oh, also we got a bathtub, you guys. It's a little compact tub, but it's so nice. I love it. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it is. Tiny tub for a tiny bathroom. of coffee. You almost spilled it. In our house, but I didn't. <laughs> you were like... <laughs> <laughs> Setup is less than ideal. The coffee maker is on the floor. Um, I think this is pretty ideal. You know, we've got polyurethane and paint where our food is. Uh, let me show you what we're using as a tripod right now. Uh, paint can, paper towels, peanut butter. Hey, they all start with P. Oh, it's a pea pod. It's the but, tri Oh, I get it. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We need both buckets. <sighs> Lots not good. 